This is the 300 East Street grade crossing located on the BNSF Mendota sub in Naponsa, Illinois. Here we have two new gated signals, each with LED lights and one e-bell. There's no real looking north. We can look here at the southern signal. Start off with the side lights. These are actually old 12 by 20 inch federal signal frames with dial light ball LEDs inside. And then the main lights, we got 12 by 24 inch state tram ones with dial light ball LEDs as well. Here's the dot tag, dot number is 079719V. Got a single sided state tram or Siemens base on a old foundation. Got a Siemens gate mechanism with uh, NEG two way gate saver. There's a back look at the side lights there. You can see the federal signal logo. Side view of the main lights with a state tram junction box. Back view of the main lights. You can see this one's missing its visor. That might have been a result of the storms this morning. Got the newer gate striping with four inch Rico LEDs for the gate. Here's a back view of the southern signal. Here's another now looking south. You can look here at the northern signal. This also has 12 by 20 inch federal signal frames with dial light ball LEDs for the side lights. Main lights, we got 12 by 24 inch state train frames with dial light ball LEDs. Here's the dot tag again. Got another single sided Siemens base on an old foundation. Here's the back view of the side lights. Side view of the main lights with a Satran junction box. We got another Siemens imprinted gate mechanism with a NEG two way gate saver. Back view of the main lights. This gate also has the newer striping with four inch Rico LEDs. And up top, we have a GS Type 2 E bell. And there's a back view of the northern signal. There's a really bungalow in the southwest quadrant. Grade here is all concrete. Track you facing west towards Kiwani, uh, Galva, Oneida, and Galesburg. And track you facing east towards Buda, well, Wyanette, Mendota, and Aurora. Sea signals were installed in March of 2022. And actually, the one signal on the south side here was installed in late February and then this signal was installed in early March. Uh, not sure why they installed them separately. Uh, and they replaced a pair of older WCH signals. Um, you can see both signals they actually reused the side lights on them which is really weird to see. And funny enough this signal actually had on the old one it had 12 by 24 inch Satran lights on the back and they didn't reuse those. Meanwhile, they reused the old, much older federal signal frames, which I thought was hilarious to see. And then they also reused the GS Type 2 from the old signal. Uh, and as you can see, this crossing is getting a new bungalow currently, sitting behind there. Uh, lots of markings all around here. Um, now the fact that they already installed new signals here, these ones will probably be carried over with the new bungalow. Um, there is a ch slight chance that BNSF might decide to replace these because I have seen them do similar things before. It'd be really stupid in this case since they did a complete replacement here of the signals, aside from a few of the older parts. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. I'll probably have the new bungalow in by the time I get back from Pennsylvania in late April. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. If there's new signals afterwards, I'll do an update video here. Uh, more than likely, if they decide to keep the same signals here, they'll probably add a GS Type 3 to this signal, making it a two bell install. But other than that, they'll probably look the same. They'll, they might get rid of these old uh, signal guards here. Um, they might put up new ones, because obviously they gotta route new wires to those signals, and those probably get in the way. But yeah, whatever they decide to do here, we'll see what happens. This has been the County Road or 300 East Street Grade Crossing.